Welcome to another Quick Tips with EC QuickBooks Training. Today we're going to learn about how items affect your financial statements. So it's important to make sure that you have set up your items correctly. I am doing job, uh, job costing. So let's take a look at this invoice that I have sent to my client. It's for um, my item code paint and I have built 100000 I can also use the same code when I enter my bills. Here's a bill for 50000 and I'm using the same code, paint, for 50000 and putting it under the same job. Now if we look at the job profitability, we can see that under paint, the service code paint, I have a cost of 50000 which is correct because I have a bill and an invoice of a hundred thousand so that leaves me with the profit of fifty thousand now this is actual correct data now let's take a look at my financial statements and see if it tells me the same here is my P&L profit and loss now it's telling me that I have a net income of fifty thousand which is correct it is a profit but it's not telling me what I have invoiced or what my costs are so it's not really providing the correct data I want uh, on my profit and loss in order to have the hundred thousand show as income and then the fifty thousand as a cost we need to make an adjustment to our item so let's go into the paint item and as you can see this check this box is not checked so we want to check this box where it says this service is used in assemblies or is performed by subcontractor and this is also needs to be done if you have materials in this case I do have materials it was 50,000 I'm going to put it construction materials cost and I'm going to click OK it says would you like to update existing transactions yes I do now let's go back to our profit and loss and see what it shows. And let's go to last month. And here we are. We could see now the income of a hundred thousand and our cost of fifty thousand with a profit of fifty thousand. Now my profit and loss is showing exactly what is happening in my QuickBooks. I'm showing my income and my expenses and then my um, net incomes. So I hope that you find this video helpful and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you.